What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope a fantastic day in today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what my settings are since it's been highly requested for the past I don't know how long. But uh, yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video and find it helpful, don't forget to drop a like down below. Every single like is very much appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. But without further ado, I'm going to go to the shooting range so I can showcase what settings I have and why I have them the way I have them. Alrighty guys, we are here in the shooting range. I have my H bar out so I can show you these settings. But first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to press the start button. Then you're going to press RB or on the right bumper and then you're going to go down to controls and then these are all of your settings. Now these are the basic ones that you first see whenever you open up the menu. You want to go down I have aim button to hold, sprint button toggle and then here is the main ones is your sensitivity settings. These are going to be different for everybody. The reason I have look sensitivity at 65 higher than my aim sensitivity is because look sensitivity is what you are doing here whenever you're running around trying to look around while you're running well i have my weapon out but it's easier to run and look it's a lot quicker you're not slow you can easily see if somebody's chasing you or see if somebody's in the area or be able to free look basically a lot quicker and then now third person aim is whenever you're aiming in third person Basically, it's self-explanatory. Uh, I have that set at 15 because whenever I'm in a battle, say I'm peeking a rock, my aim is still potato, but it's a lot slower. It's not too fast. I can manage it a lot better. See, I'm still potato aim, but this is on single fire. Now let's put it to auto. I can easily line up shots and follow the player if they are running across like this I can easily follow them and my aim isn't as terrible as you normally see and then now next up we got first person aim sensitivities now these you do want to change to your own liking because I don't really use iron sights or first person aim unless I have a scope or unless uh, it's a long range I don't usually use it uh, in close quarters because I don't really trust it as much I could probably use it for like inside buildings if I peek in a corner and somebody's like right around I could probably use it but uh, most of the time I don't trust it and never have but uh, I think I think it's a good setting to change so that's what this is so basically you're in first person I have a little bit higher or lower than most people because I do a lot of sniping and you don't want to be moving around too fast when I be trying to follow a player we're trying to get a shot in. So that is a first person aim sensitivity. Now next up, what you wanna go do is go to advanced controls. These are my advanced controls uh, settings. Mover, uh, move, inner, dead zone, I don't change that. And then also before you do anything, I turned off aim assist because I feel like it messes up a lot of my shots and a lot of where I'm trying to aim because it always locks on to the player or it slows down it doesn't lock onto them but it slows down and really affects your aim um and i've never ever since i turned it off i've never wanted to turn it back on so that's just a sign of hey it's i prefer aim assist and i recommend it to be turned off now over here we got move inner dead zone move outer dead zone i think those are basic settings right there i didn't change them at all move exponent now you guys are probably wondering what is that what does that do so whenever you're running i have not noticed an immediate difference but you know how players are always running and moving so quickly and jumping and zigzagging and stuff i notice it makes it a lot smoother i i don't know how to explain it, it just makes it feel like a lot smoother i can't of course gameplay you can't tell but I'm sure if you turn that all the way up, you'll be able to tell a difference immediately and see how smooth it is and how smooth of a change it actually uh, makes to your character while free running. Okay, so next one is aim ramp up. I didn't change any of these. Aim acceleration decay, I didn't change that. Aim acceleration time, I didn't change that. I didn't change any of these whatsoever. Aim exponent, I tuned it up to 4.0. I don't really know what it does, but I do feel like my aim's gotten a little bit better. So uh, that's what I changed for that. 
recently and then zoom exponent i don't know what that is for either i'm not sure what these are exactly i, I assume this is with scopes um maybe it helps your aim a little bit when using scopes but uh that is pretty much it for my controller settings um for game settings i this is what i have uh show weapon always uh health compass interactions crosshair color i have it set to aqua that's how you can change your uh, crosshair color if you want a different color just go to game uh in the settings and that is how you do it um audio video settings this is what i have i didn't really change much here either besides maybe music volume all the way down um radio volume i have down to 30 music encounters this is something you do want to change because if you have it in on turned on in encounters then you will hear the loud airdrop music going in the background while you pick up an airdrop or just loud obnoxious music in the menu screen i believe too i don't know I, that's probably why i have music turned down also is because in the lobbies uh the music sound loud sometimes on certain maps but uh music and encounters i turn that off and then of course my brightness and contrast and save frame settings i have those set to uh my personal likings so uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys all did find this video helpful and enjoyable. If you guys did, again, like, comment, and hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. Hopefully this settings video helps you out and helps uh, increase your gameplay and uh, improves your gameplay and your gunfights and just out there looting. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Outlanders.